Hey guys, how are you today? Uh, just kind of making an unusual video. I know when you look at the first of this video, you're kind of asking what's up. Uh, what it is, is in the uh, lawnmower small engine community, um, ethanol gasoline, which if you noticed on that gas pump I just uh, got a clip of, said, uh, you know, may contain up to 10% ethanol. And uh, just about every gas station nowadays has that. Um, some of them are offering uh, ethanol-free gasoline. Uh, oh, and real quick, just to let y'all know what you're looking at, uh, I'm a delivery driver by trade. I work on mowers on the side. And so you are looking at my phone mount, the uh, suction cup, that stuck to my window of my company truck and uh, I'm pulling out of this gas station so uh, but anyway I just thought it was fitting that I would take a picture get a shot of the gas pump and also just filled up with gasoline in my company truck to talk about uh, gasoline and fuels uh, for your lawnmower your small engine um, the biggest thing is like I said uh, when it comes to ethanol gasoline stuff there's a lot of controversy you'll hear a lot of uh, small engine guys and and more mechanics and stuff bad mouth it and uh, so I just wanted to discuss some of the uh, some of the things I've heard over the years I guess to say some of the myths and some of the and, and my experiences so um, Hopefully you guys don't mind this different kind of a video and, and you watch it all the way through because there's some good advice and and uh, and I guess to say maybe a little bit of myth busting. Uh, what it is is uh, if you're on YouTube quite a bit and you watch different mower mechanics videos like I do, uh, you'll hear, like I said, it's quite a controversial topic and you'll hear them talk about... Uh, you know what's the right fuel what's the wrong fuel blah 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 and you'll hear a lot about how uh, ethanol gasoline um, wreaks havoc on carburetors and small engines and lawnmowers and stuff and so uh, um, so one of the things I want to say is is that uh, I've been using it for years uh, the cheapest you know, I go to the gas stations just like the one I just shot at the beginning of this video, and uh, and I get the cheapest octane, the cheapest fuel. I don't buy the expensive stuff, and I I've been using it for years in my mowers. Um, as far as the differences between uh, uh, gasoline that contains ethanol and gasoline that doesn't, all I've noticed is is and let me just say that regular gasoline also uh, varnishes and and can collect and gunk up in a carburetor. Uh, but ethanol, I think it's just magnified a little bit. And what I mean by that is is that ethanol gasoline, especially during season changes, like fall and winter and stuff, and when the mower's not really being used a lot, it's just stored. Uh, that's when it seems to wreak the most havoc. Um, now, as far as like uh, um, using the mowers and using the gasoline, I mean, I've never had any issues. Uh, and what I mean by that is, it's like putting gas in the mower and going out and running it and, and cutting my yard with it. Never had any issues. Uh, the only time I've ever ran into any issues with ethanol gasoline was when storing it and uh, especially like leaving it in a mower and uh, and then putting it up for the winter or whatever and then getting it back out that's when I've ran into issues um, but as far as like running my mower and uh, using it never had any issues so if you watch my videos and you'll see uh, just made a video I think not too long ago 
Uh, but I'm a huge fan of the fuel shutoff valves, uh, inline fuel shutoff valves. And, and uh, what I do is, is I just run my mowers. Uh, when I'm done using my mowers at the end of the day, I will shut the fuel valve off and, uh, and then run my mowers until they burn all the gas out of the carburetors so there's none setting in there. And following that practice, following that method, I've never ran into any issues. Um, never had to clean my carburetors or, or you know, had starting issues, uh, fuel related starting issues, none of that. Um, I just shut it off with the fuel valve and, and uh, burn all the gasoline out of the carburetor and never have I had to have any, any I've never experienced any of those issues. I've, uh, on one particular mower, well no, all of my mowers really, all I can think of is I've cleaned the carburetor one time on all of my mowers. And uh, the Green Craftsman, if you go back in my videos and watch, I just shot a video on my uh, LT1000 Craftsman. It's my oldest riding mower. It's also the one with the uh, oldest fuel shutoff valve. And, and uh, uh, I believe I only cleaned that carburetor one time before I put that fuel shutoff valve on there. And I've never had any issues since then. And, uh, uh, you know, my mowers sit and, and, you know, go through season changes and all that. And I've never had any issues. So, uh, so anyway, uh, Again, I, I hope you guys can forgive me. Uh, this is a different kind of a video, and I know y'all are staring at my window mount and uh, my suction cup there as I'm driving down the highway, but I just thought it was fitting to make this kind of a video to talk about uh, the gas and the fuels and stuff uh, to use in small engines. There's a lot of people out there that will say to buy the expensive stuff, the you know 93 octane or whatever. And, um, and I'm going to tell you right now, I've never bought that stuff. Never paid the expensive price, never bought the high octane, high octane gasoline. I've always bought the cheap stuff, the stuff that, you know, they say has probably got 10% or more ethanol in it or 10% or less. I don't know. Anyway, I've always bought that and I've never had any issues. Uh, again, you know, the, the, the biggest issue that I can see that ethanol creates is not when you're running and driving and using your mower but when it's setting when it's in storage that's when it's creating the problems and also if it's setting in storage during season changes that's when it seems to be a problem or, or out in the elements so um, you know again like I said my biggest suggestion is the fuel shutoff valve you know but also you can run your mower out of gasoline when you're storing it you know just make sure to run it out of gasoline or even dump the gasoline out. It, I just installed the fuel shutoff valves because they're easier. And so, uh, uh, but as far as having to buy expensive fuels and, and, and you know, uh, <clears throat> also, uh, you know, having to rebuild or clean my carburetor every year or every six months, no, I don't do none of that. So, uh, so anyway, guys, uh, if you stuck through this video, I appreciate it. I hope you like it and uh, comment and subscribe. And uh, 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 I apologize again, but but you know, just wanted to get this video out there and and uh, talk about some of the myths and and some of the things people say about uh, the, the the right or wrong fuels to use in your mowers and small engines. So God bless. Thank you guys for watching and uh, take care.